We start with a point. Hi, welcome back to the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. And uh, today we're going to start with a question. What's south of the South Pole? What's south of the South Pole? The same thing that's north of the North Pole. This really relates to how each additional spatial dimension allows you to get to a state which is impossible to get to from the current dimension. No matter what dimension you're discussing, adding another dimension must add another degree of freedom allow you to get somewhere that you couldn't get to from your current dimension. What's before the Big Bang? The same thing that's after the end of the universe. Again, the meaning of the words requires you to think of something that doesn't exist within the dimension you're examining. The words really have no meaning within the current context, which is why we often use quotes in these questions. What's before the beginning? What's south of the South Pole? Nothing. You can't get there from here. What we have to get to is understanding that saying nothing is before or after our universe requires us to abandon the limits of our current dimension, in this case sequential space-time, the fourth dimension. We have to imagine a dimension which enfolds our space-time entirely, where before and after have no meaning because in that dimension everything happens at the same time. When we visualize such a state, we can see that even thinking of the Big Bang as a beginning is a limited way of thinking about what really happened, because from that dimension's perspective, all possible states for our universe, right from its beginning to its end, already exist. Such thinking sometimes leads people to conclude this means free will doesn't exist, because the past, present, and future have already been decided and we're like passengers on a train, observing the scenery, but with no way to change what we're going to see next. Understanding that we still have a certain amount of control requires us to accept a multiverse and the parallel universes of Everett's Many Worlds interpretation, which says that at this instant we are each observing one state out of many possible states that already exist simultaneously. What's south of the South Pole? What's outside of our system? Simultaneity. Timelessness. A perfectly balanced symmetry state and folded together into a big beautiful zero. Getting outside of our 4D space-time allows us to see how our universe is a temporary deviation from symmetry. As physicist Sean Carroll said in Scientific American last year, this is an idea I've been explaining to any friends who will listen for the past 25 years and have been presenting to the world since Imagining the Tenth Dimension launched in 2006. That's all for this time around. There are some related blogs uh, to these ideas. The Long Undulating Snake. The Big Bang is an Illusion. Does the Multiverse Really Exist? The Holographic Universe. What's Before and After? Gavin Gjorban, Everything is Forever. Time in Either Direction. And The Big Bang and the Big Pie. And the next blog entry is going to be called The Map and the Territory. My name is Rob Bryant and enjoy the journey. Thank you.